The question in today's video is, oh, what's wrong with my antenna? Okay, the question in today's video is, can we build a tool that will buy a coin the moment it's being listed on a big exchange, ride this huge initial increase before it just drops down again? If you like that idea, please consider subscribing to my channel and stick around. Let's take a step back and have a look at this chart. This represents the initial coin listing for ICP back from a few months ago. Now, if you are coming from Reddit, please put your pitchfork down because I'm not about to shill ICP, but I will use this as an example to illustrate my point. At the time the coin was listed, it was about $200 and within a matter of moments, it just shot up to over 2,831. Now, manually trading this would not be possible. But I've spent about a week now building a cryptocurrency trading bot that's supposed to detect new coin listings the moment they are being listed on Binance, buy the coin and then dynamically hold the coin until um, ideally the optimum time before selling. I will leave the GitHub repo in the description below as well as a detailed guide if you want to do this yourself. Though I do have to say as a big disclaimer here, I have tested this for a few days and the script broke during the middle of the order so it has been widely untested. Luckily I did include a test mode for the script so you can um, have, a, have a play with it without the risk of losing real money who we'll just place fake orders for you. There's a live mode as well though I really don't encourage you to try it out just yet it's been again widely untested but I just wanted to share with you the rationale of the tool and how it works. So I'm going to show you the configuration options as well as um, some of the code that drives the decision making logic for it. Okay, so this is our configuration file. These are all configurable options that you can modify in order to fine tune your strategy. Have a look at quantity and pairing. In this example, if a new coin is being detected by the bot, it will buy the equivalent of 15 USDT of that coin. While the run every variable represents the speed of execution, 0.1 means 6 seconds and 1 would be 1 minute. But as you probably gathered, speed is essential here, so keeping it at a minimum is vital. You can even go lower than 0.1, um, though you might get temporarily banned by the um, Binance API if you call it way too often. Test represents uh, test mode. If you set it to true, uh, the bot will actually run in test mode and it will store fake orders in your local directory. SL and TP represent stop loss and take profit, while enable TSL, TSL and TTP represent trailing stop loss and trailing take profit values. So in order for this strategy to work, I would actually recommend you enable TSL, so set that variable to true. I only set it to false there to do some initial testing, uh, but the gains are quite dependent of a dynamic trailing strategy in order to exit the market at the optimum time. Okay, so this is our main execution file. This is what we're going to be using to actually launch the script. I won't go into the details of every single line of code here, but I do want to point out a few important bits that make up the logic and how this all works. So after our imports are done, you can see that we are loading the configuration file here. So this is the config.yaml file that we walked through before. Now we have a function that just returns a list of all the coins on Binance. And then this is where the magic happens. This little function here is basically what detects new coins. So how this works is that we have a new variable that's called all coins recheck, which is essentially just checking for all of the coins again on Binance. And then we get this function to return the difference between the old list and the new list. So the way this syntax reads is give us each coin for all of the coins in all coins recheck if this coin is not in the old coins list and then it will also return the new coins list as well this is also important to remember we have a couple more helper functions such as getting the price for all of the coins uh, and then we have the main execution function so what happens here is in the top part we have our main cell block 
So this deals with selling the order. You see it's checking for an order.json file. If this file does not exist, it assumes that it never bought a coin, so therefore we don't have to iterate through the sell logic. But further down in the sell logic, we have updating take profit and stop loss, dynamic trailing values as well. If we go down, we go past the sell block and we go into the buy block. So in the buy block, what we do first is we call the get new coins with the all coins argument. So we're inputting the all coins list, the initial list that we call when we first run the script. And this is important to remember because if I go up, you can see that we are only calling the all coins. We're defining the all coins outside of the while true loop. So what that means is that when the script runs, this list will be static. It will be called once and then we will iterate, which means we will check the Binance API to see if new coins were added at the speed of one request every six seconds like we defined in the config file. So the reason this is outside of the loop is that in the loop itself, once a new coin is detected, so with this logic check here, if the length of new coins is higher than zero, then all coins equal all coins recheck, which means we've updated the list. And this is important because we don't want to buy a new coin twice. We want once a new coin has been detected, it matches our criteria, the bot places a buy option, but then we also update the list so that we include that new coin into our list, meaning that now our list matches what's on Binance. So next time the code will iterate, it will take that into account and not place another buy order because that's a new coin, since we already have that in our list as well. Um, and then it's pretty straightforward. We just have a loop where we iterate through any new coin for uh, coin in coins. And then we place a buy order. Uh, this would be a test order if, um, uh, if this matches. Otherwise, we will place a real order on Binance and we will update the uh, take profit and stop lot values into our local file. Uh, those are a few helper messages that we're logging into our console and uh, this represents the frequency. So 60 times what we've defined in our config file. That's why I said that uh, 0.1 represents 6 seconds. And that's it. Then we just call the main function and we let this run. There are a couple of other files that do um, serve a different purpose here. So for example, we have a file that stores our order in local JSON files, and we have another file that um, is essentially the trade client, which creates the Binance client with our authentication and also um, converts the volume from your pairing, so from USDT into the coin that we're about to buy. Uh, but if you want to read more about it, again, this is on GitHub and I've also posted a step-by-step uh, -step guide on my blog, which I will also link down below so you can have a look in your own time. This is all I have for today, guys. But as I said, I will continue testing this for the following week. Hopefully, we will see some new coins being listed on Binance and some nice action from the tool. I'm hoping to post a new update next week with some results. In the meantime, stay safe and if you want to try this out, feel free to ping me a message. If you need any more help, uh, you can find me on Reddit at Cyberpunk Metalhead or you can just leave me a message or write me an email on my blog at cryptomaton.org. Alternatively, you can also drop a comment down below. Again, if you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel, turn on those notifications and until next time.